Hey, what's up everyone? Boss Get Up, this is Val Ramos. In this week's DJ tutorial, I wanna expand upon last week's video where I talked about the low frequency EQ transition. And I wanna talk a little bit more about the subtle nuances and differences when you execute this transition during a drop section of the outgoing song versus the outro section of the outgoing song. So the main difference in executing the low frequency EQ transition in the drop section versus the outro section is you want to withhold your bass line for that much longer if you're doing this during the drop section. If you're doing this transition during the outro section combined with an intro section of the incoming song, you can bring in that bass line sooner as there's less musical elements in the outgoing song. Now ideally you want these two tracks to be in the same key so there's less clashing, but if the tracks are not perfectly aligned or even similar in key, you're going to want to withhold that bass line that much longer, especially if you're doing this during the drop section. So what I like to do is if I mix in during the drop section, is I'll use the first half of that drop to bring in the volume with, with no bass on the incoming track. And then on the last 25% of that transition, that's when I'll do a full bass swap. And I'll do that in almost one felt full swoop. And as I'm doing that, I'm also gonna be simultaneously bringing down the volume of the outgoing song. Now, if I'm executing this transition during the outro section, I will still use the first half of that time, that mix, to bring in the volume with no bass on the incoming song but then I'll make my bass cuts or my bass and my bass additions that much more noticeable. And I may do this in two, sometimes three transitions. So halfway through, I will bring in the volume and I'll make that first cut in, in the bass on the outgoing song and first addition on the incoming song. And then the next 25% I'll bring in a bit more bass and then the last bit bring in more bass as I'm bringing down the volume and out and then the outgoing song is out. Okay, so now I'll show you two demonstrations of this low frequency EQ transition. We'll first do the drop transition where you withhold the bass line for that much longer. And then I'll show you the outro section where you can make more noticeable cuts and additions into your two respective bass lines. So we'll first do the drop section. Okay, it's approaching the drop. Here's your mixing point. Drop's coming. Now. Okay, you're gonna use the first half of this mix, which is the 16 bars, to bring in the incoming song. Again, you're withholding the bass line, because this is during the drop. Okay, we're approaching 75% of the way there, so now, now we're gonna bring in the bass in one swoop. Out. Here we go. That's 16 bars transition right there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you an example of the low frequency EQ transition using just the outro and intro sections of the two songs. And again, this is the example that I recommend you perfect first if you're learning how to DJ because the outro section of the outgoing song will have a lot less musical elements. There's a lot less clashing that could potentially occur. And you also have more time because a lot of times with the extended version of these songs, you'll have 16 and sometimes even 32 bars, which is roughly 30 seconds to one minute of time to nail this transition. And this is what I for sure recommend you practice first. Okay, again, it's all about timing. Timing your mixing point. Okay, so the outro section's about to come. Here it is. Now. Okay, again, you're using the first half of the mix to bring in the volume of the incoming song. Okay, we're about halfway through. Now I'm making these bass cuts noticeable. One bass cut in addition, two bass cuts in addition. Now we'll do the third and final one. Bam, that's it. Simple. So there you have it. That's my two techniques for executing the low frequency EQ transition. So in summary, if you're doing this during the drop section, you want to withhold the bass line of the incoming track for that much longer. If you're doing this during the outro section of your outgoing song, you can make your bass additions and cuts a little more noticeable and also divide it into two, sometimes three additions and cuts. If you think I'm forgetting something, please leave in the comments below. And if you like this content, like to see more, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.